here because of course again B and C, these two groups, going to be the first time that they meet with each other on an actual tournament. Let's put the scrims aside for now. Let's not judge them through that. But this will be the point where everyone wants to see. And looks like the flight path on the left side of the map. At the same time, thank you to our observers as well. XTYR and NGEK, Topcast and also Zai bringing the action for us from the ground. And that's true, and the flight path itself is not as balanced. I really waiting, am still waiting for the flight path to just, you know, vertically or horizontally balance in between two maps. Like, really in the middle of it. Mm. But we haven't seen that before. Yeah, I mean, overall, uh, flight paths haven't been too neutral overall. And you could argue that even some of the circles have been a little unfair to certain teams, I'm not going to lie. But the first circle has been dropped, and that circle is not too fun, as a majority of the teams oh, are going no. to the eastern side of the map, even though the circle is right above Dobro. Oh. I have a feeling this might have ended up like just a little bit south of Dobro Meso, because that's where the circle always ended up. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Yep, I hopefully you're wrong because I want to see a circle in the waters, but well, it's probably unlikely, but anything could happen in the circle. Stop it. Don't jinx it. Don't jinx uh -oh. it. Don't cast this curse God. over water. You know what, how I feel about water. I love water fights. Yeah. It's always interesting to see them like swimming ducks <laughs> instead of sitting ducks, you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, there you go. Only like uh, four teams actually inside of a circle. They might be very comfortable for now, but Vila, though. Vila, I don't know about this place. In terms of loot, man, but... Uh, the Romeso, for those actually inside of it, Team 15 is, is actually having a very good spot this time. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of teams are going to bump into each other almost immediately here, considering that they know that the circle is towards the western side of the map. So as they drop them, they're like, okay, maybe we need to reposition ourselves a little bit closer to the circle. So loot up, grab those vehicles. We need to make a move. As you can see, like this spread of teams, they are uncomfortably close to each other. Yeah, it's like a half moon there that we can see on the map earlier today. And no, looks like F V, they have this compound all to themselves. F V axis, they have areas that are very, very good. So it's all for them. I think we won't see them much in action until maybe the fourth circle, perhaps? Oh, well, maybe. Creatures is really, really at a peace uh, moment right now. F V is not contested by whatsoever team. I really want to see who actually clutch in Dobo Metro because we know everybody will try to move there as soon as possible. And there's so many teams actually further than the safe zone itself. So how are they going to migrate and have to cut across so many teams that are actually at the edge of the circle gatekeeping? Oh, and I do see a pan in the hands of one oh, of FV players. Oh, Gideon's going to love this. He'll, he'll want X. one of that. He'll want that stat on that scorecard. Uh, I'm, okay, I'm going to be a little picky here. Because usually you would expect him, you know, execute somebody who's already knocked down, goes with the pan, and just takes him out. I want, I want that quick switch of, oh, it's a clutch moment. They're running out of bullets, and I don't have anything. Let's whips out the pan. Funk. Wow. <laughs> Were you an action director? Maybe you should consider that. Yeah, you should consider that. That's very creative. <laughs> is, is that very creative? I just want to see someone like clutch out with a pan. <laughs> <laughs> okay, around Winery. Pretty good lit, pretty decent ones. And uh, they are not interrupted at all by any teams for Bapa A. Number one still, but will they be taken down today as the first game begins? Yep, and we do see here all the teams seem to be pretty harmony right now. No one's really engaging with each other. Everyone's doing this looting simulator thing that I always say. Looting and simulator? Yeah, really? <laughs> yeah absolutely. It's, it's looting simulator. We just see a geek fam as well. They're not being challenged here in this area. So th basically, he's saying that they are like bots now? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Choo-choo, what you gotta do? Why you gotta, why you gotta make it look so terrible? <laughs> oh, that's mean, that's so mean. But yeah, no, I kind of agree with Sir Claude here that, you know, the earlier stages, most people are looking to start picking up their items first until that circle starts rotating in. Again, phase one, there's still like a whole like minute and a half left before it starts reducing down. And not to mention that the redu uh, reduction of the blue is so slow during phase one. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. yeah, and it's not even clipping a lot of HP. So I think nobody actually wants to go into safe zone as soon as possible. They can actually tank out the blue a bit. Yeah, but do they really want to do that? Because at one side, there's just too many teams. If you tank it out, you also risk the risk of just bumping into somebody who just passed by and I, I don't know do you really want to be the last one into the zone or you do you want to get to the zone earlier because most of them are not in the zone at this point you may want to get a preemptive location okay I think I think we have to make this discussion we have to do this discussion now inner or outer circle players like come on guys true true what are you thinking inner or outer circle going to be a little bit more effective especially since we have the map here and we're in San Hall 
Oh, oh sorry, I, I just hope nobody is actually barricading any of the, you know, if there's any bridges and stuff. But yeah, looking at this, it's quite balanced for those who are actually coming out from the north and south. But I can say for now, Axis is in a very comfortable spot. But we know that he has, the team have to actually hold that fortress until the last circle. Yep. So inner or outer is the better play here. I prefer outer to be honest. Outer, mm. okay, okay, okay. So Claude, I'll go the opposite side. I'll oh? take the inner circle just because the success of Bapa are uh, yesterday. They they got a lot of points by staying in the inner circle, and whoever comes in, they just gate it a little bit, not too much because that gives away their location. But yeah, that racks them up those position points. Mm. Position points is pretty important here, but again, they still need to get those frags. Most are pretty looted up, and looking at Evo's VIP, they are looking pretty stacked with already level 2 to even level 3 body armor and helmets. They were in Cosmodrome, one of the best places for loot, but they have to fight H2O very soon, one of your favorite teams, sorry Cloud. Mm -hmm. Maybe they're just gonna get wiped now. Oh! oh. oh. There you go! <laughs> she's firing on the shots here, man. <laughs> even <laughs> before the players fire the shots. I'm telling you, she's a fist fighter right here. Choo Choo, she's ready to take you out but hold on here looks like evo's vip already looking for the vehicles to start bailing out of here h2o doesn't seem to be their priority as of right now they've got two vehicles they could make it they could make a decision to take them on but i don't know what what's you know what's going on in the mind of h2o right now mm, um, well zabava yeah. is their mind now well i guess at this point it's just focus on looting try to get those vehicles because this is a fairly big map as well. You want to secure those vehicles. You want to secure as many as possible. Try to get maybe one vehicle per team so that you can do that scouting. Someone can be in front, someone can be inside. You can build a barricade with those multiple vehicles. All those strategies that you can do. So you may want to stay away from other teams right now, especially if you are on the outer side of the circle where most of the teams are. That's true. And one more thing, you have to know when to pick the right fight. It's kind of pointless to fight against all the teams that you actually have to confront to. And knowing how much strength you have right now and going in blind, even though the other team is actually kind of looted up, or even they're not even loot up or stock up yet, knowing the which fight you have to pick. You know, you can't just go pick every fight. You know? It's not going to gonna be beneficial for you. I, I think that's a really good point because yesterday we saw Team Secret in Miramar going right on top of the hill, the highest point, and basically taking on like, what, four, maybe even five teams, and then like another two teams came from the flank and they were just like gun holding their position and trying to gun everybody down. Mm -hmm. And that kind of caused them a lot economy-wise. But look at that just now. Team No Recall out of nowhere. It seems like on all of them, most mm -hmm. of them on vehicles now. Just gonna run them over, yeah, why not? Yeah, They're why just, not? Yeah, there you go. And, oh, it looks yeah. like... Oh. <laughs> they are actually playing very safe with that. How many rounds they are doing? <laughs> <laughs> Did he want to hold his hostage or I I, I think I think nah. they were going around just in case like his team members were nearby and if they do take pot shots like at least they're in a moving vehicle so they can make the decision to bail out. That was almost like aim practice for them like okay let's try to kill someone from a moving vehicle just because we can do it just because we're not pressured earlier but instead they went down and said say hello to my little friend Ooh. and just kill them off. Keep it easy. Yeah, keeping it easy. Well, hopefully that scar isn't going to leave his face anytime soon. But looking at Impunity right now, and I think this is one of the teams that we were hoping would step up and kind of adapt, especially, you know, coming from Singapore as well, to that Malaysian place. No, did they, they just jammed their vehicle, didn't they? That was a very awkward moment of <laughs> vehicle jam quickly switched over. Oh man, those actually just arrived Goroka just now. I think it was Impunity, but it happens to be Evo's uh, VIP also nearby. Maybe they will take this loot if they want to. And it's actually the first airdrop as well. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty good, but okay, back to Impunity here. They're looking to secure this structure here, this set of structures, and hide their vehicles as well, just to make sure that it's out of line aside from anybody trying to be, okay, we can't let them leave here. We need to break the disengage. Shoot that car. Well, yeah. That's true, but now I think EVOS VIP are ready to actually fight so many teams. Look at that, they are just jumping from one compound to another and scoping in to make sure that they have some vision on enemies. While the other teams who actually stayed in blue have to make a run and migrate into the circle as soon as possible. Yep, Wait. Team No Recall here looks like they're approaching. They're still in the blue circle, but they get steward. 
Looks like you managed to get that kill. A it's a free kill. kill. That's a free kill there. <laughs> it's literally a free kill. This it's is just a, hello. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Thanks for the points. <laughs> but I think what's most interesting here is that a lot of teams are t adapting to the idea of like, we should play outer circle. However, we know that there might be some teams inside, so we're going to do a delayed. Ooh, Ooh. Goku is going to be the next drop here as teams want to, you know, let's go a little bit later and catch people off trying to run in towards uh, the non-blue zone. Yeah, but talking about running into a zone, we do see a Loyu. Looks like they will move in. Moss Goku is in trouble now. He will go down. And one more inside, we do see Yi Chong nearby. They will go for him. They want those points, but Yi Chong will need to make a run for it. Looks like oh, NBA superstar Sinbi goes out. Will that boom out? And Yi Chong is oh, 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 Yi it. Chong did not manage to get away. Unfortunately, will be sent back to the lobby. Beautiful recall and a beautiful spray there done by Sinbi. On top of that, it was on a motorbike as well this is a fast reaction time well we're looking at the next circle here a lot of teams already inside of it but h2o is way up in the north still breathing don't worry cloud mm -hmm. they didn't bump into mm -hmm. evos yet but will be very soon because we see the north is not as crowded as the one in the south Oh, looks like the next circle is like really forgiving here. It's still moving towards, you know, the western side of the map. And talking about water here. Yeah, water, I told you we water. ended up just a little bit beneath the Bomaster. Usually the pattern is like that. Hopefully uh, I didn't jinx it, but I would love to see a water fight for once. No, thanks Stop. to guys. <laughs> this is this is bullying. <laughs> <laughs> but it's fun to watch, okay? I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. All jokes aside, looking back here at Bo Team Bosco, I think they have a good idea of what's going on across the right as GeekFam is kind of chilling over right across the hill. I'm just not sure if GeekFam know that they're, uh, that you know Team Bosco is in this structure. But Bosco seems to know that someone's across. They are taking precaution here. They have eyes on one area where gig fam is so they probably know that oh okay i saw a dot there but i'm not really sure let's just keep our eyes on there just to make sure that they don't come in and of course for gig fam here oh looks like they are they are within the circle if i'm not mistaken i can see there mm -hmm. yeah, everybody's just playing at the edge of it for now maybe making sure that nobody actually coming in into the safe zone and get the kills as much as they want this is the opportunity they want but now mm -hmm. still hearts are fighting against Bapa ah, who is actually dominating they are forced to retreat as the rest of them are kind of lost one man is there anybody that yet no one more person is kind of lost maybe that's the scout and they have one more uh, um, members of the Steel Hearts here kind of low in HP. Yeah, and now looking at, at, at the situation, I mean, look at how many of people are still alive. Dingoes, one person down, everybody else has their squad with R2K being the first to be eliminated here. Oh, Bart takes a couple of shots. He's running off the roof to the side to get some form of cover. Steel Hearts and Bapa still back at it again. And now they're going to slowly move up forward. Papa going to reset a little bit, get a little bit of health, but you can see that Papa is really kind of like out of position. He's already prone on the floor, looking to get a flank angle as the utility is being deployed. And now we do see here, six years, some barbecue happening inside the house. He's not able to come out of here, but he keeps his eyesight onto the side of his opponents there. So Jenny from the other side tries to look at one angle, tries to snipe them up. But Pan Pan here, he's proning slowly, but surely he may find someone before someone else finds him. Yeah, I'm taking this fight too long. We'll be in a really, really sticky, sticky situation for these two teams. Because we saw just now, Yudukin might join in the fray as well as the other team there across the map just now so four teams might just bomb into each other very soon but i think still is just going to retreat but then it's a little bit too late oh we had to hop on on the vehicle very last minute that was a nice goal just now but can they still get them and pin them down but papa is really frustrated right now didn't get the free kills and there you go that's a really real rage going on there for jenny i mean he was like just in case somebody is just chilling in the smoke i'm just gonna Quick spray. All right, nobody. Let's get on out of oh, here. Maybe just, oh, I didn't get that. <laughs> you know, just in the grass on my hands, just underneath my nose. But nah. That's so so true. But you have to kind of give it the steel hearts here. That was a really good disengage considering the situation that they were in. Mm -hmm, and that's true. If they actually ex extended their stay there, it's not going to be a beautiful picture after that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they're aware that there's still 15 teams that you still don't want to lose out at this point because it's very minimal points, only one point at this time. So yeah, eject button. 
is the good way. Mm -hmm. Not to mention that they didn't lose a single one of their members as well. So that's also a huge, huge plus point. Let's look at the map right now. As you can see, the circle, ooh, it's still pretty, pretty forgiving. You know, this is this has been a really good circle overall. It hasn't, you know, completely messed over an entire team. It's still hovering over Dobro for now. But again, the gatekeeping hasn't been as hard as it been, you know, in the previous game. And that's true, and Axis MP has been there since the you know, first minute, but surprisingly, Avi catching up to them. They are actually taking Dobo Metro on their side now. Yep. Avi again, Avi. Avi hmm. again, they, they are looking pretty good today. They're starting off pretty good, what I can see there. This shows that the scrims really gave them that confidence, so they're breathing it right now. Like, okay, we can hang on to this. We can get our first chicken dinner. Just so you guys know, actually, I had a chat with the team members before this, and oh. they did say that Afat did say that they are aiming for these four chicken dinners today. Yo, that's their goal. Yo. They're like, I'm like, out yo, of six man, games, yo. out of six game, that's a high target they put themselves onto. Can they actually? Uh, well, kept their promises Technically, for they got one already from the scrim. <laughs> so now they have to win three oh, more. Yeah, yeah, that, that's, that's fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, around creatures right now, back into, speaking of evils against H2O, H2O, um, it's nowhere to be seen. I'm still waiting your H2O to be wiped out. There you go. Oh. There's H2O. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. wow. What's, the, what's with the I, hate? I, I, I love you guys. Okay, don't get me wrong. <laughs> H2O is just making deep eye contact like right now, just like looking at you like, what'd you say? What'd you say about us? <laughs> <laughs> and it's jumping off. Um, who is this? ESG. Yeah, ESG Gaming. I want to see, as well as um, Resurgence, there haven't been a lot in our camps today. Mm. These two teams. I Resurgence wasn't doing so well as well. Yeah, yesterday. yeah, they really weren't so hot the other day. I don't know what this could be accustomed to. It could be a, like a number of things, but I'm not entirely sure. Thoughts, Cloud? Yeah, but yeah, I, I do see them not really living up to it so far because they did really well in the qualifiers, if I'm not mistaken. They got like at least uh, two, two chicken dinners in the qualifiers and they got second place as well, if I remember correctly. They were doing really well and every, all eyes were on them, but throughout this uh, at least yesterday mm, they need to pick up from here oh well, like it or not who wants to pick up this airdrop number three with awm full set even the eight times go look at that somebody is actually nearby but do they want to take the bait we jump into another team bosku team bosku who will have to just say hello to ESG if they happen to pass by? Yeah, I I, I don't think many fights are gonna break out too hard just yet because On again, the phase four is yeah, always phase four. it's definitely phase four. But I was expecting some kind of gatekeeping because. Consider where it was. Everybody was pretty much on the eastern side of the map, and western side of the map was pretty open for those who decided to go there. They won that 50-50, and then a lot of teams started pushing in, but they didn't really take it full advantage of completely locking them out or forcing them to rotate towards the northern side or even the southern side if they came from the top. Yeah, I have to agree. Speaking of that, we still have 15 teams in tech. There's only one team out, and that one team has been waiting in the lobby for a very long time. Uh, same goes for you to hear that Chuchu said that they like to go for the kills, but looks like they are they're hanging on as well. No one's really making that move first. Everyone's just peeking at each other and say, Hey, I'm not gonna make that move first. You make that move first and I will take that back step off of you. It kinda gives me that sense of that. Yeah, being a third party is not all bad, you know. Speaking of that, we've seen that in the last game where Nat yesterday kind of take it out all in but now look at this circle what? well i told you so what why is the circle being so nice like it, it's completely centered itself right onto the land now it's 100 percent land win for me high five to imaginary friends out there who like lands <laughs> but coming back into this rsg going to go into their first engagement against evos vip this is going to be big they've already got two knockdowns right now and they just have to take the last Ooh. one out he does what he's able to take them all out wow amazing Play indeed. There was just left like one hit left. Oh my god, I am pro. You were doing the business, and just just when we were saying that, like, okay, they need to wake up. And there you go, there you go. That's a that's a wake up call. I'm awake, I'm awake. Yep, that's a signal to everyone out there. We're, we're here, we're here, guys. We're here. Well, well, yeah, but then, um, I think it's okay for them, but they don't don't need to stay here too long because you know there's no covers, no whatever they need to replenish their resources. At the same time, we're looking at those actually from the south of the map. 
already start to migrating into the safe zone and taking a long route here gig fam they don't want to risk it they know there's many teams actually camping around movatra in fact it's probably not a bad idea if they really go through the water area to the, from the from the beach Ooh. area, beach -ish area. Uh, that's uh, that's normally a safer place. Yeah, the the the, the cliffs. The yeah. shores is not really bad idea, but the chances are they have to fight themselves into Cosmo. But you do. There you go, jumper, trying to make a move. There's also Dingos nearby. Bapa. These three teams are actually one of the best ones in their own respective groups. Mm -hmm. I'm just glad that they are very nearby each other because this so is everybody be else about. get a chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Isn't that what you're hoping for for a lot of like the teams coming in? It's like we know we can't beat this one but if they beat the if they go up against the top team then it's like at least we've got a good chance of stealing this game well that's quite true but then at the same time i really want to see all these big names actually juking it out in the last circle too pan fight yeah that would be <laughs> fun but some of them actually very uh, sporting and they try to do the pan fight in the last moment you know really okay yeah. i i can respect that but let's look at the next circle for phase five here mm -hmm. Ooh, looks like it's not favoring, you know, the northern side, but a couple of oh, shots being shot by Geek Fam here, as we can see, down on the bottom south side of the map. Yep, and we do see a damn root here. Yeah, he's really rude right now towards his opponents. He wants to go for it. He wants to try and get that side. It looks like he's just prepping up the Molotov. Molotov will be prepped. Ready? One, two, oh, go. That's and just Molotov. brutal. Mm. That's just brutal. He knows uh, GG is already knocked, and, but he doesn't want to risk his own life. But there you go, another one. This is a really... Damn rude guy. <laughs> really rude guy. I think I think you can say he just completely disrespects his p opponents at this point <laughs> in time because he's already Molotov Zaj and now he he's just crawling, but there's no way for him to actually make it over. I think Dingoes are in a pretty bad position considering that they they are hiding behind the same cover and they don't have their flanks. Uh, they can't really cover their left and right flanks. But that's the thing. If you don't finish an opponent, if you know they've been knocked down, chances are dead. Other teams will kill still them. Ooh, that's, that's an that's extra point. point. That I know one of the players really like to do that in a different level, mm -hmm. which is Bigatron Ryzen. He does that all the time. Oh, he does scary. that all the time. So maybe we're gonna see another person from Malaysia gonna emerge like that with that kind of a. I mean, is that a good thing or a bad thing, really? Hey, whatever it takes to win, I guess. <laughs> oh, but whatever oh it takes to my. win, they need to save Man Parang here. Man Parang just dropped there, ladies and gentlemen. Jumper here on the outside. Fredo is on the outside as well. Uses his. First aid kit immediately with opponents just on the other side of the building. Anything could happen. There's Papa I inside there. Fredo pre prepping it up and looks like the save will go on to Manpara. Manpara will live to tell this story another day. Oh, it's a really relief moment for them, but that that won't be that long because we know Papa is actually doing the same thing. There's also a war going on for XPMY against Impunity. While Fredo with a micro Uzi in his hand trying to finish off every single Papa. Uh, uh, members here, but they didn't manage to make it on time for bot. But for the rest of the team, they are still breathing and alive. It's 2v4 right now. It's not exactly the best odds for Bapa, even though they tried to get the initial drop onto Yudu, but he has to save his member to make it into a 3v3. He's going to drop the utility. Oh, However, okay. they, they, they didn't chill or cover anybody. Okay, <laughs> no, we saw I, that. Think, I think that's just, you know. Let's just, let's just hope the smoke kind of like, <laughs> it's, it, cre it becomes wide enough to go over the walls just so they can get the pick up. A little unfortunate, but don't worry about it. The fight is still going to continue. It's a 4v3 situation right now. Yeah, yep, uh, kind of clump up in between two teams. Papa are sandwiched by Yudu as well as Team Dingoes right now. But they are choosing to retreat, go straight into the safe zone because they can and they are actually the closest to it. Mm. But then again, there are others as well in the safe zone. Now we do see Papa Ah, they need to reset themselves from that mini fight there. But not far from them is also other teams as well we do see a esg oh. very nearby and bravo here looks like he will go oh but it's just behind the smokes bravo you just need to make a u-turn there bravo we'll take out one bravo will you take out anyone else looks like you choose to reset yourself bamburu is there to help him out as well help him just picking up the loot you mean yeah <laughs> it's helping a Someone lot for the the he's helping a lot for the team then i must say and the rest of vsg right now just replenish themselves resetting while well, the rest of papa are kind of in a predicament they are being jammed into a corner here team there's two team literally team number 19 yudu gang as well as team expert my surrounding them and gatekeeping at the edge of a circle Finally, the gatekeeping has already begun for both of these teams. Not entirely sure how they want to play this out, but uh, we'll just have to wait and see. 
Yeah, that's true. And uh, looking jumpy back into jumper. Well, I like the jumps in the jumper zone. But look at that axe P having holding the high ground while jumper trying to cook the nade, try to toss in, making sure that it will be tossed in the smoke of the opening side. Will it actually be a Ooh. Ooh. That clip half of a HP gone. There it goes. Ooh. Oh no, that's <laughs> a really, really rough spot there. Got punished straight away. And Fredo coming on the other side, trying to get as much vision as possible. He's trying to just navigate himself through the smokes there. Ladies and gentlemen, Romeo is still behind the stone. How long can he stand there? Because the flanks will start to come in here. Romeo looks like he will go for the revive onto Sane, just helping him out, trying to get him back onto... S Oh, and looks like, oh, jumper here with the long shot here, ladies and gentlemen. And looks like it will connect, but it will keep the opponents behind the stone. This is a really risky thing to do for jumper, but there you go. They take all the risks in and try to get number one now. XP and one with the next target. Look at that spray. And it seems like it's straining uh, bullets and also nades all over the place. Mm -hmm. The utilities have been deployed right now. XP is still holding their own against Yudu. However, the rest of the team might, if this goes any longer, this might put them in some serious danger. Absolutely. Let's hope the circle be kind to them. At the same time, we now see that Sane looks like he's been pinned back to this stone. But then again, he's just gatekeeping. He has the vehicle for himself as well. He can get away. And now Dylan, his teammate, oh. looks like he's circling around, uses the vehicle as a barricade. And now we do see here, looks like the circle is closing in towards... Okay, so looks like everyone's in the circle right now. We shall need to wait till the next circle before... Oh, who's going to be pressured? I'm just waiting. Oh, not kind to a lot of teams there. Oh. Yeah, but the nine teams left with the most manpower. You do gang as well as Tearheart. Look at that XP Saint trying <gasps> to make a clutch, but it's a hard spot to begin with. Quite out in the open with only a big stone. And now they try to rotate it. That's a rush coming out from Jump and finish off. One team plays themselves at the nine spot. Jump, jumper making sure XP will stay out from the top five. A really good close quarter bout there, Micro Uzi against UMP there, but fortunately Micro Uzi does come up on top, more shots were landed. More importantly, just look at the state of the map right now, RSG is kinda in an awkward position because Axis won't let them move through, the structure is being taken control over Steel Hearts, and Effie is kinda making sure nobody messes with them by holding their position, and again, you have to kinda give it to S uh, ST here who are holding the most important structure within the circle. Yeah, but Axis is just making it difficult for a resurgence right now, but the rest of ESG at the same time are having a hard time to advance because Bapa uh, is actually in the middle for them to cross into the safe zone. This is not looking great because the blue is closing in in less than 20 seconds. Yes, this time Steelheart is still in the circle. Everyone else have to beat Steelheart to get in the circle. And they have about 10 seconds before they need to decide what they need to do. And just look at this Steelheart. It's not only in the circle. They are in a structure, in an area where there's a lot for them. They are in the best possible position. But wait for it, they're still putting people down and making sure that they have any high ground as well as the cover advantage. The rest of them quite out in the open unless they only have trees. Geek on the other hand have only one person as well as FV. The rest of it, I think the only team that can go against Steel Hearts right now, maybe FV and you do. Who actually march in at the moment? Mm, I... I'm kind of conflicted, I'm not going to lie. I'm really kind of conflicted here. But Yudu holding their position. Oh no, they're getting shot from left and right as well. Ooh. Fredo goes down. They are completely flanked here. This is not good. He has to make a decision to commit to one side and hold that angle just in case they peek. And he might take a little bit of damage, but he has to commit to it because this is not looking good. Not looking good at all. Jumper is all alone for Yudu gang here. And we do see at the same time, RSG looks like he's in trouble. Y2K goes Goes down. I am pro as well. Looks like it's not looking good for RSG there, ladies and gentlemen. And the play zone takes out ESG as well. And Jumper looks like he's in trouble. We take it out by six, and he will be sent back to the lobby, ladies and gentlemen. And still hot is really holding this forces strong. Look at that. They are not budging. They have everything they need. They have covers. <gasps> they have the oh, oh. terrier, but damn root. It's really rude coming in solo, wiping one of those uh, still hot members there but the rest of fv we have resurgence as well as axis and px still at the edge of the blue zone there so can they actually flush out still hot from this compound i honestly it's, it's so hard i honestly don't know 
But right now, GeekFam's damn rude is just again holding his position really really well especially towards the uh, especially towards the second level of that structure he just needs to hold out and pray keep on praying that somebody just takes out another squad because he is just racking up those positional points I'm, yeah I'm, I'm really impressed to see how damn rude actually like from the outside solo go in there actually be rude to take out one member of steelheart there that is actually impressive there and we now we do see oman here needs to fend with oh that little oh bit there but me. small boy looks like that was oh it's not a different angle there and oman goes down to lorenzo ladies and gentlemen small boy now we're only 20 percent oh, whoa oh. looks like takes down one takes down two and small boy being the big boy Just Double kill of like that, and small boy is not small anymore. Going in as a grown man, trying to flash out the rest of Steel Hearts from the side. At the same time, Axis trying to heal themselves a healing game. While we have Resurgence, who quietly staying low just now. Voki trying to make it out, making sure that he got positioning of the Steel Hearts here. You gotta remember, his body armor is almost completely ruined. Steel Hearts are holding the structures, but they are not looking towards Resurgence's side. Resurgence don't have to worry about their flank anymore. They're on the top side, their backs are absolutely clear. So they're just waiting for Steel Hearts to kind of just, you know, do their own thing, maybe push out and maybe get an ambush on them because Resurgence, so far, this is one of the higher placings they've received from yesterday and today. And damn rude. Now he's still hanging on to his original position. Looks like from the minimap, we can see he's just at the edge of it. He will need to make his move really, really quickly. And now we do see Ideal and team, they are still holding on to this fortress that they have been hanging on for a long long time small boy and also Voki they are just sitting outside I believe they should be just inside the circle and now shots been fired but those are just warning shots there no real movement I believe in 10 seconds we'll see something we're gonna see a healing game very soon because there's no way resurgent can flush them up for still hearts while on the other hand we have damn root really solo there and Ooh. making sure they have enough utilities to actually heal himself oh, but there you oh. go small boy make the move but a low range so just denying and deny resurgence to flush them out what the rest of steel hearts do they have enough supply to actually heal themselves i see a big mad kid on the side of pam pam there i don't think it's a problem for them at all and damn root now being the sole survivor he can actually go in at this moment damn root looks like he's still holding on he's going doing the healing game right now look at the circle guys <laughs> but, but damn root damn root looks like he will not be able to hang on oh he's still hanging on to this who will go now he's down to him a big turn oh. of the event snatched away by Geekman his damn freaking rude oh. well played that's some serious disrespect stealing that win oh. a chicken dinner because of his position and oh. just because he had more meds Oh, that's gonna hurt the soul. Maybe rage. Maybe rage. Oh, oh that's gonna be close. 